Welcome to the day of Hong Kong Social Enterprise Challenge 2009, the grand final presentation. I'm Anthony Hoon from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, your MC for today. Since 2007, the HKSEC, a social venture business plan competition organized by the Center for Entrepreneurship of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, has attracted over 700 students to showcase their creativity and social entrepreneurship. This year, we have a record breaking of 831 students forming 215 teams from 21 higher institutions in Hong Kong joining the competition. Let's give them a big round of applause for their active participation. Today, we have the six teams to compete for the two champion awards. And we are also honored to have three invitation teams to present their ideas about social enterprises after the grand finalists' presentations. And they include teams from University of Macau. Teams from Shantou University. And also teams from San Yixian University. Now, before we begin, may we invite Professor Hugh Thomas, Director of the Center for Entrepreneurship of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, to give us an opening remark. Professor Thomas, please. Thank you very much. Many of you received uh, yesterday KK Dad blog, which reminded us of uh, American comedian Lily, Thomas, uh, Lily Tomlin's comment that the trouble with the rat race is even if you win, you are still a rat. Uh, KK Jaya attributed that comment to the current social entrepreneur, uh, Roger Hamilton, but actually it belongs to Lily Tomlin. Um, Lily Tomlin was a bossy telephone op uh, most, most known for the, uh, Lily, Lily Tomlin, Tomlin is, a, uh, is an actress, and she's an American actress, uh, most uh, famous for a 1960s character. And the 1960s character is a sharp-witted, bossy telephone operator uh, that was on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. And she used her power as the center of communication. Because she was a telephone operator, she uh, controlled information flow uh, by uh, plugging people back and forward uh, in, uh, with these telephone lines and she spread her inc incisive, wicked gossip. And one of her comments was, the trouble with the rat race is that even if you win, you are still a rat. Hong Kong is an extremely well-run, modern, prosperous, and yes, a very lucky city. But we must aspire to do more than be winners of the rat race if we are to create a good society. Social enterprise is a vehicle one of many vehicles, and I believe a good vehicle to create a better society because entrepreneurs make enterprises social by adding a mission to change society for the better. The market is great, but it also has great imperfections, and if we do not positive, positively uh, address those imperfections, uh, then they will continue in spite of our prosperity. I'm at the Center for Entrepreneurship, and at the Center for Entrepreneurship, we, we study things. So it's not unusual that we try to study social entrepreneurship. We published uh, earlier uh, a press release uh, in January about uh, entrepreneurship in Hong Kong. You might have read that. We tried at the same time that we did our poll of Hong Kongers to count social uh, entrepreneurs. And we found that the percentage of social entrepreneurship in Hong Kong is rather low. It's just below uh, 1%. Uh, that means statistically we cannot do very much with the findings. Um, this is slightly below that for other countries. Um, it's interesting though if you look across countries of the world, um, entrepreneurship is positively correlated with education. 
So if you are a postgraduate, you're more likely to be an entrepreneur than if you are just a high school graduate. If you've got a, a master's degree, you're twice as likely in Hong Kong to be an entrepreneur than to be uh, a, um, uh, an entrepreneur if you just have a, uh, uh, if you're just a regular member of society. But for social entrepreneurs, it's a negative correlation. Postgraduates globally, I'm not talking about Hong Kong, are one-tenth as likely to be social entrepreneurs as the average of society. Those with university degrees are about the, the average, but if you have a higher degree, you are far less likely to do that. This should not be the case, because education should be promoting social good. Thanks to the Home Affairs Bureau of the Hong Kong SAR government, our dedicated colleagues at the Center for Entrepreneurship, with whom I'm very privileged to be associated, are able to bring you, for the third year, the Hong Kong Social Enterprise Challenge. Unsurprisingly, undergraduates dominate. So um, we haven't had, in past years, any substantial participation from postgraduates. This year, we have had both postgraduates and recent graduates that are part of our, um, our uh, competitors. We hope that this bodes well for implementing social ventures. I wish, to, uh, I wish the best to the six finalist teams from the universities across Hong Kong. I congratulate the organizers of Hong Kong SEC for making Hong Kong SEC 2009-2010 a reality. But most of all, I congratulate the students, and I congratulate those who are realizing their potential to improve society. Thank you very much for allowing me to be part of Hong Kong SEC 2009-2010, and I'd like to turn it over to the competitors and the judges for the rest of the morning. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Thomas. Thank you very much, Dave. Professor Thomas, please remain on stage. May we now invite you to give seven years to our judges. First, may we now invite Dr. Edmunds Lee, Chairman of the Chartered Management Institute, Hong Kong branch, to come to the stage and receive the open year. Dr. Lee, please. Thank you, Dr. Lee. 